Welcome to Beyond the Horizon podcast, a show all about the Horizon ecosystem and the exciting world of blockchain and Web3. Join us as we explore the latest happenings in this rapidly evolving space and discover new horizons together. Now let's go Beyond the Horizon. Hi there. Today we're excited to welcome Don, co-founder and CEO of Solo. They'll be bringing their protocol to Eon and we are excited to learn more about what they're building. Before we get into that, can you tell us our community a little bit more about yourself? Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Brian. Um, I'm Don, uh, as, as Brian mentioned, the CEO of Solo. Um, I've been lucky enough to spend my whole career in the crypto space, first on the enterprise side working with IBM, uh, but pretty shortly I saw the light that the really exciting stuff and innovation was going to be happening in the public network space. Um, so I joined Hedera Hashgraph as their first director of product led the launch of Hedera uh, and its token HBAR. Um, I then co-founded a grant-giving organization called the HBAR Foundation, which was a $2 billion ecosystem fund providing incentives, investment, and support to projects building in the space. Um, I helped launch projects like NFT.com, but just recently started Solo, uh, really focusing on how to create more sustainable liquidity and incentives across the crypto space. Um, so really excited to bring a lot of that work to Eon and uh, chat with you guys today. Amazing. And thank you so much again for joining. So just to kind of take a deeper dive there, would you be able to tell us a bit more about Solo, kind of the services that you provide, differentiators to the project, uh, that kind of a thing? Absolutely. So as I mentioned at the top, our mission is to create sustainable liquidity in crypto. Over the last year, we really saw what happens when crypto becomes opaque. When things are dominated by centralized exchanges or counterparties, bad actors who typically exploit users, we lose that core vision behind crypto of bringing more value and more interactions on chain. So our mission is really to correct that by creating sustainable liquidity, yield, and incentive solutions that make crypto what it should be, more value transacted on chain, more transparency in terms of how these applications function and grow. Um, and you know, really making sure that at each layer of the stack, the network, the AMM and beyond, we have that sustainability in terms of the yield and incentives that are provided uh, for users. Um, so part of what we do is you know, implementing protocols um, that automatically manage liquidity for users on AMMs, but also things like working with Horizon Eon Um, to help implement more sustainable incentives for people to bring liquidity into a given ecosystem. Um, So we're really excited, I I think, by how you guys have been forming the ecosystem and to be uh, an early part of it. That's, uh, I agree with everything. Like it's, it's, I'm not saying it's a problem, but it's nice. It's, it's definitely going to benefit Eon um, with the solo and easy guys um, involved. I guess with that, are you currently like, are we looking at, any DEXs that you're partnering with here upcoming? Have, have you guys already started to have those conversations? Yeah, so the first product that we'll be launching is an automated liquidity manager called Ichi. And this does two things. First is it simplifies liquidity provision to no longer require a liquidity provider to buy two assets, figure out the right mix of those assets, figure out where on the price curve that they want to deposit it. It actually just treats the liquidity provider as an asset owner who has their balance of wrapped ETH, wrapped BTC, or other tokens and wants to earn a new income stream on that token. So they can deposit through the liquidity manager that single token to then be used in liquidity provision on an AMM. Now, we will initially be working with Ascent and Horizon Eon, uh, but hope to also take it to other AMMs that are launching in the space Um, that enable that experience to be delivered. And again, the value for users is that the liquidity manager automatically manages the rebalancing and allocation and most importantly, yield generation uh, for that liquidity position so that, again, that new income stream can emerge without the need to actively manage a position yourself. Um, We've deployed this system across networks like Ethereum, Arbitrum, Polygon, Uh, Even this week, we deployed it to PancakeSwap, and we're almost at a million TVL since Monday. Um, So we're really excited to bring that same capability to Horizon Eon. That's very cool. And those liquidity pools then are through Ichi, um, through the token. 
this is there a like minimum deposit for these end users or can really anybody come in and deposit into that really anybody can come in and deposit into it how it works is much more similar to a staking experience so if you have for instance a big balance of wrapped ETH and you want to earn yield on that wrapped ETH through the Ichi implementation on Ascent you'll be able to deposit that wrapped ETH into a say wrapped ETH USDC liquidity pool and the manager will automatically um, add that to the liquidity position and generate you that yield over time from the trading fees and incentives from the AMM itself. So it's a great way to open a new income stream for that wrapped ETH you're holding. But there's no minimum and really anybody can participate um, who's got a wallet connected uh, to the network. That's cool. Um, and I think that's specifically important for a lot of our users. And I'm sure, Brian, you agree. Um, a lot of our main chain users, they not they may not be that super involved in the DeFi space. Um, so bringing these capabilities to Eon where it's just a lot simpler for someone just to deploy their assets and not really worry about them, that's I think that's huge. Absolutely. And we think not only can it be used by individuals, but it can also be used by funds, asset managers, or anybody who wants to get that automatically managed, risk managed liquidity provision on chain to generate yield for their assets. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much for the insights there. And um, what's the best way for our community to kind of follow along with, with Solo, what you guys are up to, get the latest news, you know, what platforms are you guys most active on when you're sharing announcements, news, that kind of a thing? The best way to follow is to follow the Ichi Foundation Twitter. That is the DAO that we're delivering this work for. Um, you'll see a lot of the product coming to fruition, I think first through Ascent, but then hopefully other AMMs in the space so that people can identify and figure out which liquidity provision opportunities they want to capitalize on. Um, but we see really that deployment as just the first step we'll be taking in Eon. Um, our hope is that this same infrastructure will actually allow us to completely change the dynamic of how grants and incentives get deployed in the ecosystem so that people can actually receive something like a grant in exchange for providing their liquidity on chain. That means that you as a project or liquidity provider can now have an incentive to move to Eon. And the only thing that you'd have to give up is to actually deploy your project tokens or tokens you're holding into liquidity provision. You get the grant you need to start building or to move your liquidity. The Eon chain will start to grow in terms of TVL and its liquidity. And the yield from that liquidity could be passed to any number of parties uh, to help incentivize them to keep deploying that incentive in the space. So that model is one that we're really excited to work on with some funds involved in the ecosystem, as well as um, you know a core network incentive to help drive TVL growth and provide that incentive for the ecosystem. So you know if you're a project who's looking to launch a new token on Eon, if you're looking to just port your tokens over a bridge uh, to the network, We'd love to connect on that and see how we can help support um, getting your liquidity onto the chain and getting you incentivized to do that in a way that's very sustainable. Super, uh, super important there for any developers listening. Um, and we'll dive into that more once that platform's launched for sure. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for giving some background there as well. And you know, just as we're kind of looking back as for the launch of Eon as things are progressing. You know, is there a certain reason or, you know, we're very excited to have you guys join Horizon to join Eon. Was there anything specifically that drew you guys into the project, into the protocol that, that you maybe wanted to highlight here? I think how you guys are thinking about the formation of the ecosystem is is very forward thinking and looking to, um, you know, support a wide range of different DeFi protocols. You know, I know Ben and I connected early on in those efforts to kind of identify which types of projects you guys wanted to attract. And it was a lot of the core primitives that were needed, whether it was lending protocols, stable coins, AMMs, you know, what we're doing as well. And I think seeing that ecosystem come to fruition really close to network launch is going to set the foundation for, you know, multiple years of growth. There's going to be a lot of innovation, liquidity and users um, that can benefit from that ecosystem very early on. Um, and so I think that's what's most excited me about that. Well, thank you again so much for joining. Uh, before we wrap up here today, is there anything else that you want to share with 
our Horizon community. Anything else you want to highlight today? Yeah, first, you know, keep an eye out for that liquidity manager deployment. Um, when that comes live, it'll be a great opportunity to start earning yield through liquidity provision on Eon. And then second, if you're a project um, looking to start from scratch on Eon or get incentivized to move into the network and even just deploy your liquidity, we'd love to connect and see how we can leverage some of our strategies um, to help incentivize that move um, and support your growth on Eon. Amazing, amazing. Well, thank you again so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing your continued growth on Eon and, and thank you. Thanks so much, excited as well. Thank you for joining us on Beyond the Horizon. Stay tuned for more exciting episodes as we continue to discover the limitless potential of the Horizon ecosystem. If you liked this episode, make sure to subscribe and leave a thumbs up. Thank you and we'll see you again next time.